That breaking news comes from the American Academy of Pediatrics. It now says all children should wear masks this fall when returning to school, even if the students are vaccinated. The guidance just came out from the American Academy within the past 90 minutes. It indicates this new guidance is for all children over the age of two. News for Jack's anchor Tarek Miner just went through that guidance and joins us from the newsroom, Tarek. Well, you know, Bruce, this is a big deal for parents now that we are less than a month out from the start of school right now. My colleague Joe McLean, he's checking with local school districts first to see if this new guidance is going to change anything. Currently, no local school districts are requiring masks when students return back to school. But this newly released guidance also includes teachers and staff. Again, even if you're vaccinated, they're asking you to wear a mask. The AAP says the goal is to keep students physically present in schools. It acknowledges that it is hard to enforce mask policies for those who are not vaccinated. So this way, if everyone has to wear a mask, it's easier for teachers and staff to monitor it. The AAP is also recommending universal masking because many children aren't eligible for a vaccination. Now, children 12 and older can get the Pfizer shot, but it's expected to be midwinter uh, until children under 12 can get it. The AAP also saying we need to prioritize getting children back in schools and make sure that this happens safely. Well, tonight at 5 o'clock, we're going to let you know how local school districts are responding to this new guidance, Bruce. All right, Tark, thank you. We're now holding a news conference about the environment a few hours ago. Governor DeSantis could not ignore Florida's increasing COVID numbers. As a result, he stressed the importance of getting vaccinated. In July, which I told people months ago, we would see higher prevalence because it's a seasonal virus and this is the seasonal pattern that it, fo that it follows in the Sun Belt states, particularly uh, in Florida. Uh, if you are vaccinated though, the number of people that end up hospitalized after have is almost zero. It's incredibly, incredibly low. So I think there's some misinformation out there where someone will say, oh, these people were vaccinated and they tested positive. Understand, a positive test is not a clinical diagnosis of illness. And so if you're vaccinated and you test positive, but you don't get sick, well, the name of the game is to keep people out of the hospital. Now, new COVID-19 cases are spiking at an alarming rate, particularly here in the Sunshine State. One in five cases in the entire country is developing here in Florida. State officials say 3,200 people are in the hospital with COVID. Locally, Baptist has 230 people with COVID. 42 are in the ICU. UF has 117 cases, 35 people in intensive care. Dr. Sunil Joshi, president of the Duval County Medical Society Foundation, joined me here on The Morning Show to talk about a renewed push to get people vaccinated. Physicians, healthcare providers, people that that the, the folks that people trust on the ground have not even been given a chance to provide the vaccine. The vaccine has gone to the big box grocery stores, the, the pharmacies, and of course the large vaccination centers. And that was a great approach initially when the demand for the vaccine was very, very high and the supply was low. Just get the vaccine out to as many people as possible as quickly as you can. We have now reached that point where the supply is exceeding the demand and there are still people who might be on the fence. You know, there's that percentage of folks who still may want to get the vaccine. They go and they speak with their doctor. Their doctor says, yes, I think you should get it. But oh, I don't have the vaccine in my office. Go to a pharmacy and get it. And then they don't get it. Battling COVID vaccine misinformation has become a battle in itself. CDC shows the vaccination rate slowed dramatically. Health experts say misinformation and myths about the vaccine are also spreading through areas of the country. The White House has called out social media, specifically Facebook, which is pushing back and getting some support from politicians citing the First Amendment. We know that this is going to be a person by person, shot by shot, conversation by conversation situation from now to the end.